Okay. Welcome back to DIY University by Sally Beauty. I wanted to have a little heart to heart, a little bit of love time with you about gray coverage because I know so many of you want to cover grays and some of those grays are stubborn and resistant. You must always use 20 volume when covering gray hair. We need that energy to break that cuticle open so we can deposit those color pigments in there. We also need to be mindful of the background color. What I mean by that is anytime you're formulating for grays, make sure that whatever color you choose at least has 50% of an N or natural or neutral series, or at least 50% of G or a gold series. If you use any ash tones like the greens and the blues, the grays can appear a little more dull. Remember, we're applying pigment to white hair, so we want to add that pigment and keep it rich looking. So stay with your N series and your gold series as 50%, and then put in your target or your fashion shade on the other 50%. This will ensure your grays look alive and rich and happy and delicious and boy. I know some of you out there have super stubborn, super resistant gray hair, and you might need a little more oomph when it comes to your pigment. So as you're looking on the shelf, you might see a level 6N, and next to that might be a level 6NN. What do these two differences mean? Well, 6N is a beautiful 6 natural shade. 6NN is double the availability of that pigment, so it's going to cover that gray even more. Keep in mind though, when you're working with a double N series, there is more pigment available, so our eyes can tend to read it a little bit darker. So to avoid this, or if you have finer hair texture, I encourage you to level up. So if you are a 6N, shop for a 7 double N at 20 volume and you'll get the results you want. If you have ever had a challenge covering gray hairs, I've got the trick of all tricks for you. It's called pre-softening. So what we're essentially going to do is take our developer that we're using from our formulation and we're going to apply just the developer to those resistant areas. Then we're going to go back and formulate and mix our gray coverage formulation. After we've whipped it up, we will then apply it directly on top of that 20 volume, 30 volume, 40 volume that was already there, making the cuticle start to wiggle. So that when we lay on our color, it's already softened the cuticle's already starting to crack open, and then your formulation doesn't have to work as hard. Half of the work is already done for you. Let me show you how to do this. Take your volume in your bowl, just dump it in. I have pre-sectioned my hair, and let's say this zone is my resistant zone. Taking just the developer, I don't even have hair color on this, it is just the liquid itself, and I'm going to apply it directly to that resistant area. This could be just in the front, just right there. It could be your entire hairline. Wherever you're most resistant, apply this pre-softening formulation. Let it set for about five to 10 minutes. Then come in with your gray coverage formulation and lay it directly on top of that liquid. Boom, and that's what helps make sure that all those pesky little stubborn grays get covered. And there you have it, gray coverage. It's not that intimidating when you follow a few simple little rules of gray coverage, like how to formulate and ensuring that your processing time is for the full amount. And you've even learned that beautiful little pre-softening trick. So I hope that your color journey is fabulous and beautiful and you get all those pesky little grays covered to begin your color journey or to continue along. And I really encourage you to check out all these incredible videos that you can learn from.